Hi all, um, so this is going to be a short video on how to set up uh, the file transfer protocol for your cloud server. Um, many people have asked uh, about, you know, how, how do you actually get the cold, uh, cold keys of the pool uh, to local storage and remove them from the server. And I mean, you can use this also to transfer your wallet. Uh, and uh, well any files you can use it to delete files on the server you can use it to upload files to the server and you can use it to download files from the server so um, let's go ahead and do that um, so the way I set it up is I downloaded uh, FileZilla uh, I'll put a link in the description it's basically an FTP software uh, it works on Windows, I think it works, uh, yeah, I know there's a Linux uh, distribution as well, um, probably Mac as well, but um, if there isn't, then there's something else on Mac that will have very similar uh, setup. So here is FileZilla. Um, so on the, on the left side is, is my local stuff, and on the right side is the remote site I'll connect to. So um, the first thing to do is to add this remote side and configure how we are going to connect to it. So let's do that first. We're going to edit the config in uh, FileZilla directly. So we're first, um, we're going to use the SFTP, which is the SSH file transfer protocol. So that one uses your SSH key to connect to the uh, uh, FTP port, which is uh, by default 22, uh, same as SSH. Um, so this is much more secure than uh, configuring it to be a uh, you know, username password combination. Uh, SSH keys are much more secure. So first I'll go to edit and settings. Um, and then SFTP. Now I've already added my SSH key on here, but uh, if you go to add a key file and you select your uh, private key, uh, then you will. So, so it's the same methodology as to connecting to the uh, cloud server. You have your private key on your local machine that you're connecting from, and you have your public key on the machine that you're connecting to. So once you add that, uh, you will need to add the uh, the actual uh, site you'll be connecting to, our actual server. So you need to enter its IP address and stuff like that. So we'll do that now. To do that, so we go to the site manager. And here you see I have a site set up for my uh, Eden pool. Uh, but now I'm going to create a new folder called Kobe here, and I'm going to create a new site in there called that Kobe 2. So uh, for the protocol on the right side, we'll choose SFTP. Now host is going to be our IP address we want to connect to. Port is going to be the port we want to connect to. You can leave this open and it will default to 22. So unless you change the port, uh, for SSH connections, uh, it will work if you leave it open. If not, then you have to specify the correct port. Um, so the IP address I cannot uh, show you because I'm connected to my producer, uh, but I'll just connect uh, and uh, you won't see it. But other than that, we need to configure uh, the logon type to be interactive and we'll set the user to root. So that's it. Now I'll just enter my IP address and click uh, OK and then connect to it and uh, uh, I'll be in. So I just um, added my IP address and connected to that. And here you see uh, we have the structure of the server. So we're connected. If we go to OPT, Cardano, Cnode, this is where our private folder is, this is where our wallet is, this is where our pool is as well. So now I got a local folder here uh, and I'm going to create a new one called Kobe. 
and uh, in here uh, I'll just select all of the pool files and just transfer them over and uh, that, that's how you download files now we can delete the code keys from the server so they're not on there anymore they're only in my local storage and if I want to bring them back I can just drag and drop and uh, upload files that way so um, there you have it that's the uh, that's how you connect to uh, your server using filezilla and you can uh, download upload delete uh, files from the server um, so yeah that's it um, thank you for watching if you have any suggestions about what you want me to cover uh, I would be happy to you know uh, consider them and uh, do my best to cover it um, so you can just uh, put those in the comments uh, other than that uh, yeah good luck uh, setting up and uh, my next video is going to be on uh, how to dynamically update your topology files uh, so we don't connect to just our uh, relay or just our producers and uh, IOHK relays, but we're going to discover other peers in the network and uh, connect to those as well. So uh, until next time, uh, good luck and uh, take care.